Okay, so when we left off, we were running the generate data script, and as you can see here, we successfully generated the data. Um, so we have this sample data script to take a look at it to make sure everything's all right. Um, This takes a minute. Um, in the meantime, I spun up a GPU server. Um, so that we can train this model. Um, so um, this is a fresh server, so we're going to have to fully install the training scripts. Um, so I already did this step. I already installed CUDA. So this So we've got a K80 GPU um, and a fresh Ubuntu 20.04 install otherwise. Um, so first we have to install install OpenNMT. Okay, so here we go. Um, yeah, so like this, this looks good. Um, so voting's the first sentence, and then there it is. Yeah. Okay. So this looks good. Um, so I'm going to copy this over to the GPU server. Um, Okay, so we're still waiting on OpenNMT to compile. Um, so we're going to skip this step because we have our own data. Um, I can do this at the same time. So this is adding swap space, which uses some of our um, SSD as RAM. Um, the It's actually more for the tokenizer than the actual training. Sentence piece uses a ton of RAM. Um, so... And then we do still need to do this though. Okay, so open NMTs installed. We downloaded the training scripts, added swap space. Uh, so this also is going to take a while. Um, this setup.sh is going to install a bunch of other dependencies. Um, in the meantime, we can organize the data. Um, so this, these are the data files 
we copied over. Um, Fill out the metadata. Um, uh, so we may want to change these later, but we'll come up with some sort of language code for sentence boundary detection. Um, You can see here the special tokens. So these are what's going to get tokenized as one entity, so it's the text sentence boundaries and the sentence boundary token. Um, two. Using dictionary data, not using stanza. Um, and then we're just using wiki matrix. Um, Um, so this is compiling sentence piece right now, uh, which takes a bit. And this should be about it for packages. So essentially, um, it's I'm currently working on being able to better directly train models from data generated with um, this, this the data generation script. Uh, but for now, to actually train. It essentially just looks for data in raw data, um, and then it needs the name with the um, with the language code. So um, source .spd from target source .spd to um, so th this matches what's in config data stage. Um, and so once setup finishes running, uh, all we have to do is run train. Um, and then this will take quite a while. Um, and then screen is just so that I can close the terminal and come back to it. Um, and the three files we have to edit for a package are the metadata.json, which we edited, the, um, the config.sh, and model readme. Um, and then once we're done, we'll have to run package.sh to export it as an Argos package. Um,
Okay, so set up that shran. Um, so okay, so this is going to take quite a while to run, so I'll stop the video here.